Hi everyone, today we will discover what are web quests and how to create one. Let's start with the definition. A web quest is an inquiry-oriented lesson format in which most or all the information that learners work with comes from the web. Basically, in a web quest the students are given a task that has to be completed by reading or watching internet material that has been pre-selected by the teacher. This can have several benefits. It can foster independent and critical thinking. It can increase competency in technology. And it can teach students how to find educational resources and expand their knowledge using the web. Regarding the structure, a web quest has five essential parts. In the introduction, the teacher sets the scene and gives important background information about the subject of the quest. In the task, the students will discover what they will be able to produce by the end of it. The process contains the necessary steps to accomplish the task, including links to the resources that need to be used. The evaluation section explains the criteria through which the work will be graded. And the conclusion contains final reflections, questions, or any further information that might be useful to expand on what the students have learned. To find practical examples of web quests, you can go to webquest.org or questgarden.com. In the last one, you just need to go to search for examples and you'll see the web quest search window. Let's say we want to assign a web quest on the parts of speech to our students. Type the keyword parts of speech and uh, here we have a list of web quests on the topic divided by grade and reading level. When you find the one you want, another page opens up with your web quest. As you can see on the left, we have all our sections, introduction, task, process, evaluation, conclusion, and also credits and teachers page. Now, if you want to create your own web quest, you have a few options. You can create one on Microsoft Word, either from scratch or from one of the many templates available online like this one or you can use an online service like bookwidgets.com or zoonal.com i'll show you how easy it is on bookwidgets.com create a free account or sign in with your google microsoft or smart school credentials click on widgets and then create a new widget from the menu, choose WebQuest, and here are our sections. Fill each one with the information, media, and resources needed to complete the quest, and then click on Share on the top right corner of the page to find and copy the link to send to your students. To show you what it would look like, I have created an example of WebQuest on Microsoft Word. And this is the back end of the quest. In the introduction, I explain what is Microsoft Word and what types of content you can create with it. In the task, we find the goals to accomplish by the end of the quest. In the process section, we have a series of steps to be completed by students, like watching tutorials and creating documents. In the evaluation section, we have a rubric and in the conclusion, some final thoughts and extra reading material. And this is the front end, what the students will actually see. That's all for today. I hope that this short video was useful and that it will help you create amazing web quests for your students. Feel free to get in touch if you have any questions or want to show me your work.